What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Creator Show. What's up, everybody? My name is Master Lim, and we've got an epic panel lined up for you all here today. Okay, now on the right corner, we've got the new Master Sri Akashna with us here today. Namaste, to all. We've got Ali in the show, featured on Ask Alia. You gonna say anything? Ask Master. <laughs> oh my god! Ask Master show. Sorry, sorry. What sorry. happens when you put a few people with dyslexic on the show? Here we go. Dyslexic podcast. Dyslexic. Welcome to the dyslexic podcast. I'm only joking. Anyway, um, ask Alia. No, ask, ask Master, Master with Alia. Do you want to say anything? Hi okay. guys, it's Ask Master with Alia. There we go. That's what I meant to say. And then we've got one of our GIC members with us today. Traveled all the way up from London, I believe. London today, especially for London this. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Harpreet, what's up, brother? Woo. Great to be here. Great honored to, to be on the you. show. Yeah, thank yeah. you. This is only episode two, and we got you featured already. Hey? Wow, I'm honored, guys. I'm honored. <laughs> what an yeah. opportunity. Yeah, because our episode two only goes out to two viewers. So <laughs> <laughs> we're like, nice, nice to get you in. Nice thank you, early. mom. Thank you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a big show lined up for you here today. Uh, we're going to have a few features. We're going to actually be sharing with you a couple of cool, exciting updates that's been happening. A lot of things have been going on here right now. Uh, firstly, anything that you guys want to share? Is there anything that is on your mind right now that you need to tell our creators urgently about what, what kind of a start to a podcast is that what? <laughs> i thought that was pretty it's, good it's like one of those i don't know what to say now so is there anything you guys want to yeah, share that's exactly what i was thinking but i didn't think you were going to say it on the show bro i Thanks. thought you had some format for the show no well, not really it's totally cool it's, it's we're all about flow here and we can stuff, talk about right? what we had for lunch but, okay yeah that's what, that's what's on my mind at the moment well, yeah. well first so. of all i just want to say um welcome uh Harpreet. i think we haven't seen you for uh, since when? Since Bali. Well, clearly my Bali, welcome yeah, wasn't December. good enough. <laughs> December, Bali, yeah, that was yeah. a phenomenal trip. Um, a re and also, big congratulations to all the successes you've got now. Oh, I heard you, you kind of like double, nearly tripled your income now. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. And yeah. a book, released a book. Okay. Yeah, ebook. Yeah. Uh, when was yeah. that? When was that first Superpower Live that you came to? Gosh, uh, eighteen months ago. Last months last ago. March. Yeah, March. Yeah. yeah, last March. March twenty eighteen. Right. But but it but it just shows something. What I was saying to Harpy before when we were chatting, I said that a lot of creators come onto the programs and, and things like that. And as much as we can say, hey, the programs are amazing and you can learn a lot and make a difference, but the majority will never get the results. Now, that doesn't sound like a good promo for <laughs> hey, this is our, this is our programs. But for every program, for everything, it's the same, isn't it? It's only the minority. And what is the factor? What is the fact that, I mean, because you obviously had, there was a group of people who joined with you at that mm. time. What would you say is the factor to actually, why do you think it worked for you and it didn't work for some people? Yeah, um, I think I talked about this on stage a few times. It's, mm. it's that whole mindset piece. It's the being consistent, number one, mm -hmm. and then being persistent, number two. Mm. Um, but people at, at the first hurdle, if yeah. people aren't getting the first sale, then they won't show up the next time or maybe they won't show up the next time. And yeah. it's just, you know, you, you have to be like that baby walking to, le to learn how to grow, how to walk. You have to get up and start walking again and just S speak more about the mindset, though. Do you know why? Because we have a lot of people who come on board, a lot of courses who come into this environment and they think like, oh, the strategies isn't working. But Master always shares that is this at his events that it's not that but the strategy is not working because we share the same strategies with everybody else. And I think a lot of people don't understand and appreciate that mindset's actually a huge part of it because that's the thing that keeps you going that's the thing that keeps you pushing through so what's your take on that yeah it's as, it's as big as 80 percent, i'd say um <laughs> success success is uh 20 percent mechanics and strategy 80 yeah, 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 percent yeah. um mindset yeah. so um i did whatever master told me to do and i followed it literally to the t i didn't i didn't change the formula yeah. it was a winning formula yeah. so i did exactly what, what that's, that's what we always say to people but people always have creativity <laughs> they always yeah. say oh but i think i should do it this way but i think i mean um but for everybody who's watching right now i don't think we've actually introduced Aubrey, <laughs> like what does he do what is the thing right because when you first came to us I, you have a very inspiring story i think you said you had some illness isn't it that mm. you were going through yeah uh, i had seven and a half years of 
burnout. Uh, I was that high achiever chasing success in the city. Um, I had a three and a half grand watch and I <laughs> wow. thought, yeah, I'm a ball. I've made it. Yeah. Um, well, you have if you've got a three and a half grand watch. <laughs> yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Why is it not on your wrist? I, I sold it. <laughs> oh, really? It, it, yeah, it didn't, it didn't. It wasn't aligned. It wasn't aligned and congruent to who wow. I was. So, um, yeah, it's gone. Um, didn't make, uh, made a little bit of a, not, not much profit on it, but hey, it's gone. But um, so the money did not bring me that happiness and success. It wasn't aligned to me and I, I actually got burnt out and then had seven and a half years of chronic illness. I call it my seven and a half year spiritual retreat nice. where I got to find out who's the real Harpreet, oh, nice. who, what are my values, what my, what's my purpose. And now I'm a success and fulfillment coach. I help people live with authentic happiness, aligned success, help them have success in their business as well. Um, and you get a lot of like views and a lot of following from around the world now on your Facebook. Yeah, global. It? I spoke to someone yesterday from, was it Greece? Last week, India, um, US, uh, last few days. Last, yeah, it's just international. I ran a, a masterclass series recently, had 100 people wow. from about 12 countries. Someone from Colombia was watching. Wow. Um, but this is all from following what you taught me yeah, yeah just step by step but a lot of people what they haven't seen i don't know if we can actually pull up a clip <laughs> don't go there <laughs> of his first time when you came to our speaking event yeah and then going off on stage I oh mean, boy. what was the experience what was i mean did you did you know you wanted to be a coach uh, back then uh i knew i wanted to be a coach uh i had a big message in my heart that i wanted to get out there into the world um but I was that shy guy at school who um, wouldn't go into um, presentation day at school and I wouldn't do it. Uh, my poor mum uh, would have to come home from night shift in Tesco at seven in the morning, have to write a sick note for me because I wouldn't go and do that presentation. Yeah. So I was, I was actually came. To, I actually remember now that we were, were speaking about your <laughs> superpower live. I remember you came down to me at the back of the room and you were all like, do you think I should do this? Like, I really, really, really want <laughs> really? to do this and stuff. And like, you were just like, you were like, no, everything that like, you know, everything that you guys have been saying, it really aligns with me and stuff. And I was like, bro. And then you were like, have you done it? Have you gone through it? And I was all like, I've done absolutely every course that I possibly do And then do based, here. Uh, based on them success, you were like, wow wow <laughs> wow one day you're my hero as you. <laughs> usually the team ripped me out and said don't let liam speak to anybody it'll go the other way <laughs> oh wow oh, nice. yeah, this, that, that, that's our head of communication <laughs> <laughs> that's me. There's, there's a lot of um a lot of powerful things you got mental health right is a huge issue right now people yeah. are suffering from things like that i know you had the mind battles and yeah. all the rest of it getting out of that um, shyness, building confidence, yeah. that's another thing, right? Um, becoming a coach, what does it take to become a coach expert? Making money, right? How, 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 do you, how do you perceive money? And that's an interesting one. I think I want to ask personally, because some people, they say money isn't important, <laughs> right? Some people, they keep chasing for money. But you so, said you sold your watch because you're not in alignment with that. Yet at the same time, right now as a coach, you're making more money. Yeah. So how how do we understand yeah, that? Yeah, good how question. Do you um, I now see money as uh, it helps me with my impact goals. Um, the more impact I can have with that financial um, money, I can have more freedom. I can give back to my working class Indian parents who gave so much to nice. me and my brothers growing up. Very and cool. we didn't have much growing up. So I can give them money i can give them money to my my, my kids and um i want to start an orphanage and charity i can have this global impact so i can now see how uh money can help us have that impact that freedom that nice. yeah but did more, you have more those, impact. did you have those money mindset or those money phrases growing up that a lot of people would have on here you know that money doesn't grow on trees and money <laughs> is the root of all evil surely you had that as well. um so I grew up in an Indian family. My 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 mum and dad came to the UK when they were like 18, 19. Yeah. Were you supposed and to be a doctor or accountant? Do <laughs> doc doctor, <laughs> accountant, lawyer. <laughs> um, and the, the message I got growing up was, you must save money. You must save money. Yeah, wow. it's just like you can't spend a penny. Yeah. Um, so that was the, the message I got. And that is obviously in my, still in my subconscious mind, I imagine, wow. at some point back at the, in, in the back of the, my mind. Must be some way back now. Some way back. Some way back yeah, now. That, yeah. that thousands are rolling in. I feel like with brown parents, no matter what you do, even if you make millions, they're like, Yeah, but you're you're not a doctor yeah. though. <laughs> you're not a doctor, dentist, lawyer, then yeah, yeah you're yeah. fake, you're fake. Yeah, it doesn't count. 
Yeah. But in I'm Irish sure. in Irish households, they just hope that you don't end up an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 Very low expectations. <laughs> just stay off the drink. <laughs> don't do anything else. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And then most people end up as a builder or McDonald's. <laughs> I'm <wasn't> joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Let's be serious here, right? Welcome to the Creator Show. You start. <laughs> so what we like to do in the show is we like to talk about what's been happening inside our Creator Circle uh, Facebook group, our Creator Circle Plus community, uh, any news that anybody has within the circle. And I don't know if any of you guys have thought of anything this week, but one of the first Gabo. things... Gabor, <laughs> come on! Gabor was featured last week, but he I is still. I want to feature Gabor every week. Yeah, I know every 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 week, right? Um, however, one thing that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention: this was quite a big deal this Sunday on our Creator Circle Plus Hangout. You guys got to have a look at this. Look, we reached 500 plus people tuning in live on our Creator Circle Plus Hangout. That's the first nice. time we've ever hit over That's 500 Is that people CC live. Plus? CC Plus. Yeah. Wow. I, know. I think right. when, when, you when I did it, we had about 100 people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone one of was the like, calls. who's Harpreet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's Harpreet? Who's this bald Indian guy? <laughs> <laughs> this was such a, like, I was, we were on the call. Every week has been growing. It's been growing yeah. consistently, Sorry. but I seen that number 500 yesterday, and I was like, wow. oh my gosh. But what's really cool, as you guys, oh, you would have saw it, we actually had 500 plus people on doing yoga all so together. Strong. It was so, it was so cool. Powerful. What was your now, experience? Now, just looking at it, you can see the whole vision built. Yeah. Even just one of the um, creators inside said, I remember joining this call when there were seven people on. I know, yeah. yeah, yeah did yeah, you see yeah, that comment? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, seven people on. This was just like a month, two months, two yeah. months ago. Seven yeah. people. Went from seven people to 100 people, 100 people, 300 people, 300 yeah. people, 400, 500, now 500 people. And so I remember... We already got 1,000 plus people in Creative yeah. Circle now. Yeah. Master opened up and he said, any questions that you guys have, ask them now while you've got the opportunity because there's going to be hundreds of people here and that was literally like what five five weeks, weeks ago six yeah, weeks, yeah, ago. Yeah, weeks ago definitely wow. like definitely you had to get a new weeks. platform then because it's just zoom can only allow a thousand oh yeah so for those so of you on creator circle <laughs> we're actually already thinking yeah um after a thousand because we didn't want to change the we wanted everyone to be able to show their face yeah and speak to each other we didn't want to change the dynamic of it um because obviously you can run webinars for a few thousand people Right, without seeing their face but interaction is very powerful you see everyone chatting we have a networking time everyone chatting to each other um that's why right now our only solution is to do what you don't open know. up oh my gosh yeah <laughs> right. open up another like, zoom listen uh, take okay. out got your multiple zoom got it, got it. Got open up another zoom three <laughs> laptops four laptops but the you know right now because the goal is for 10,000 people by yeah, christmas of course, yeah 10,000 10 people is 10 laptops <laughs> <laughs> 10 oh shit so i yeah. think either if zoom anyone from zoom is listening to this right now <laughs> think of a solution yeah. if not anybody else know of another solution where we can interact like that let us know in the comments yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, it was so much fun though. We had so many, but what's so amazing is that like for the two to three hours that we'd be on there each week, people get so much value on these calls. And especially when you go into the creator circle group after and they're all sharing their biggest takeaways moment. It's just so nice to be a part of something where you know that you're helping people because I don't know about you guys, but you get a lot of people out there who claim that there's a lot of bad things happening in the world. And although there is, I think if you if you're here on a Sunday, like you don't have time to look at any of that. Like there's so much good things happening in the world. There's so much positivity out there. There's so many people growing, developing. It's just amazing, and that's why I just wanted to bring that up here on the news for you guys. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Nice. I think you had some things that was like you were... a little ad section there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> free advertisement. But I know when I did my one about how to reprogram your brain for more happiness and success, yeah. success I had all these people messaging me afterwards yeah. and watching the aha moments yeah. it's like oh my god yeah. this is amazing yeah. it's beautiful yeah. for me to just and it's so even more genuine. beautiful when you see them in person and when you meet all of them because yeah. we had speaker mastery this weekend in cornwall and we met two cc plus members yeah and they had come obviously they were doing speaker mastery because they were in the creator circle and they came from there and they were just talking about how impactful it is and how it's changed their lives and then seeing them change their lives even more after taking action and, and coming to our events and immersing themselves in immersive events. Mm. It's just the, within three days, just the change that you see in them and mm. the things that they say, they say themselves and the change that they've had. They're completely different people. Mm. And just being able to do that is just so amazing. Yeah. 
I think the amount of people that we've seen inside our community, even from back in your ta- in your day. Oh my gosh, I'm making you sound really old. <laughs> back in my day, it's only last year. Back in <laughs> your day, ago. <laughs> I always say that to people. I was like, oh, back when I was 22. It's like, was that not last year? But the growth in a lot of people. But what we've been able to do online is just so phenomenal. But what's really, really, really cool is for those of you who are going to be attending our uh, Global Leadership Conference coming up in San, San Diego. Diego this year. Yesterday, somebody said on the on the call, yeah. in the AHA moments, they yeah. said, oh, it would be so amazing if we could meet everyone in real. Well, yeah. here's the chance. Right? Well, there's a chance. We've got a Global Leadership Conference coming up in November of this year, 22nd through 24th. And we're just creating a space where everybody can come together. And learn together, you, meditate yeah. together, learn, yeah, practice yeah. everything. Like, yeah. you know what you've experienced at Mass of the Stage, at all the different courses that you've attended. It's just like going to be like that, but with hundreds of people from all around the world coming together, you know? Wow. Yeah. I'm running the New York Marathon on the 3rd of November, so I'm going to stay out there and come to that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. there's, there's so much nice. power in the network yeah, and yeah, just yeah, yeah. the community. Just yeah. incredible. And we have some influencers coming as well. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I'm featured. <laughs> okay, uh, Ali, I think you had some news that you wanted to bring, right? You well, I just to... wanted to give a shout out to okay. one of our GIC members. Gabo, on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one, this is another GIC member that everyone 100% knows. She makes everyone laugh. Yeah. But the reason I want to give her a shout out today is because of her growth. Okay. I mean, she's always made everyone laugh and she's always out there asking questions. It's just that I love money. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Oh, she's epic. (laughs) Yeah. But I mean, just honestly, seeing her growth, like if if you met her today and if you met her like where she was when she first started, we were just having a conversation and talking about the same thing. She's completely, a completely new, different person. It is not the same person. Yeah. And... Should we just should we just show her up? She's a very unique individual. Is this is this is this the video from the weekend? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Right, let's let's so that. this I haven't seen this. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen this. <laughs> so this GIC member is called Ruta, our beloved Ruta, and she's been to all our events and um she's redone speaker mastery last um this weekend again, and she's been to master the stage. She's come to our SBLs. She's come to MOS and. She makes all of us laugh. Yeah. But one thing she does is she she's an action taker. She always gets up on stage mm. and t- makes use of every <laughs> single opportunity she has. And one thing that she does at every single event is this particular clip that I'll show you. She's now known for it. <laughs> we love us. We love money. The money loves us. We love money. The money loves us. <laughs> She's, 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 missing, she's missing the uh, the resisting going Yeah, on, she which, usually does the yeah tapping. Yeah, really? <laughs> I haven't seen her do that. EFT, EFT <laughs> tapping. Have you ever done really? it? Emotional you done freedom before? technique. Have you done that before? Yeah, not not sh- not chanting that out like some kind of <laughs> cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> she's so yeah. funny. I remember the first time she came out to me, she found out I was Irish, and she's she's Russian, isn't it Russian? So I think she's Russian. Yeah, that accent that she has is just hilarious. She goes, Liam, I've got an Irish chalk. <laughs> and she tells these Irish jokes all the time. But then there was one particular event that I wasn't here. Um, and she said that she got up and she told an Irish joke. And I think it was kind of rude or something. Like that. <laughs> and she gave me a call after and she goes, yeah, some people in the room didn't quite get my <laughs> She rang me up to report it and stuff like that. She's just so funny. She's a ball of energy for sure. She we, she she actually used to be a model before. I think she was a child actor and a model. Ruta. And yeah, she said that she's oh, yeah, she she's did. she's she always talks about money and abundance and we know she loves money and money loves her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um she used to be a child model and an actor and should we get one of her wow. pictures up actually? Let's see. Oh wow. Is that actually is that her? her? That is actually <laughs> her. How old was she there, do you reckon? Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very, yeah, beautiful blue eyes. Alia wants to say feet. <laughs> feet. <laughs> feet. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, oh guys. God. Right. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else that's come up this week in the news? Well, obviously, we've had uh, the name 
disappeared this week as well for Eric and we've brought forth uh, Master Sri Akashna. Mm. How are you feeling about that? How has this transition been for you? I know there's been a lot of love inside the group, especially from yesterday. Yeah, I think it's um, it's not so it's not so much. No, there's no there's not feeling to it. Mm. Gratitude. Yeah. If, if we talk about feeling. Yeah. I think it's it's just being. It's part of it. It's gone. The other identity has gone. It's gone, and it's this this one has been uh, creeping in more and more. I think. I mean, some will know. <laughs> some will understand. Some will never understand. They'll be like, "What? What's gone on? What's going on?" You know. Yeah. So, do you already feel a detachment from your old older identity? It's gone. It's gone. No, completely no detached. I think the whole process pre this with watches being stolen and all the different things happening in life, with no reaction, I think was already all the testers and all the practice for this final detachment to be able to take on a bigger role with a bigger responsibility. So, yeah, I think it's... I'm just very at peace, very happy, very blessed for everything that's going on and extremely excited to see everything unfold in this dimension, in this reality, mm. you know. Yeah. So was there a certain point for people, because we, we're still as a team getting loads of questions, like I've had a lot of people message me saying, how has the shift been personally for you guys? Are you experiencing anything different? And we've talked about this, like the shift here within the team has been incredible since you've returned. We've all been practicing yoga every single day. <laughs> like it's been crazy. Our bodies are exercising muscles we didn't even know we had. <laughs> um, but was there a certain point in time where you had to make that detachment or was it a gradual process? Like you say, you have detached and it's gone. Was there a certain time where it gone, or? I think day by day it's yeah it's yeah. There's a lot more. There's a lot more that's will change. Yeah. yeah, even in the coming few weeks, a lot more will change. The thing is, the spirit is extremely powerful, and the spirit has its way of communicating the energies. Right. This identity. This container mm -hmm. knows how to communicate to the public. Obviously, that's how it's got the attraction that it has. So this container will naturally adapt to make it receivable for everybody. In actual reality, the spirit wants to come straight back from the Himalayas and then go and then speak to you in a whole different language and execute everything in a whole different language. Mm. But if that was to happen, Chaos will break out with family, with friends, with team, with company. Everything will break out with even the following online. Mm -hmm. So that's why the container knows how to take people along the journey to do that. Mm -hmm. That's why right now, every day, this is a, like I've said for a long time, for many years, I haven't um, be, been angry, upset, and felt <laughs> frustration, right? Even needing to deal with limb. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, but, guys! <laughs> but but you know, actually, the last um, uh, week or two has been internally a lot of frustration going on. Mm. But I know it's part of the process. It's because the spirit has a lot of things it needs to do, and it needs to do at a certain speed. Uh, the container is working with it to say, "Hey." Things need to be put out at a in a particular way to make it receivable and for it to work. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why I've been doing more breathing the last couple of weeks. <laughs> cool, cool, <laughs> nice. Well, that's cool. Um, another few things just to finish up here before we move on to the that next. That was very intense coming from uh, Ruta and. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're all like this. We're like, like oh, money, money. Money. Yeah. I think we should watch the video money. again. <laughs> money loves me. <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling any way down or like of that low feeling vibration, just like think of Ruta and start tapping <laughs> so yourself, tiny. right? Well, now uh, that you're talking about vibrations and we're going back up. <laughs> Um, should we talk about a few of the manifestations? Well, not all of them, oh, yeah, but maybe yeah, yeah. just bring a few up. Yeah. Because, I mean, we go through the group every single day and every single day we see amazing, amazing manifestations that happen. And I think I was just scrolling past today and I saw a really cool one. One of our creators, um, Kedrin Heron. And he says Kedrin. that... Yeah, he I know he, he's been posting in the circle often and he said that he's really, really excited for another manifestation that's come up because he's now on set 
on his mark oh, and he's nice. officially a cast member in a movie wow nice. yeah wow nice, nice. So that's one Kevin. So great. amazing how do you i want to i want to ask harpreet this question you joined us at spl maybe 18 months ago was it yeah march last year right now obviously you've seen some evolving in the way we are as a team or i am in communicating in the way the message is going out there and the shifts i'm sure there's been like little changes you've seen along the way from the first part like what is your take on manifestation law of attraction because i think a lot of the time through coaching and stuff now i do a lot of spiritual teaching i think back then even the coaching stuff we didn't used to talk much about that it was more to do with business coaching making an impact right so i've never had this conversation with you Mm. what are your thoughts on spirituality what are your thoughts on law of attraction like is it real Ooh. is it not <laughs> this is a big topic <laughs> do, you, do you use it you know be- yeah because i don't know if you talk about it uh, you know i know you do like happiness tv and all that yeah, yeah. harpreet yeah. we're yeah. getting all woo woo up in here oh no, yeah <laughs> I, I love i love this because um i was always chasing the material stuff always chasing that but then when i had um seven and a half years of burnout i was bed bound i was house bound i couldn't walk my parents had to care for me what so, does it mean to not be able to walk? What, what, what was um, going on? I mean, I was surrounded by my, my four walls and a ceiling. Every step felt like I was running a London marathon. Like my whole body was kind of seizing up with this fatigue. That is kind of fatigue. Because of not moving? Because of um, uh, my body just shut down. My digestive system shut down. Immune system. The ho- whole central nervous system. Well, uh, and because what, what was stress. that down to? Because stress. of stress. Yeah, so stress. So that's, that's what, when you t- always refer to chronic illness, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, stress. Yeah, right. big time. And okay. it's, I mean, it's, it's the biggest uh, factor of people going to the doctors these days, right? It's stress. Yeah. And not, so did you used to have to take pills and things like that for it? Um not in terms of not not pills no. but um i mean my pill was meditation <laughs> wow oh, so you were doing meditation while being chronically ill i i found meditation oh. 10 years ago 10 oh. years ago i found it and it just changed my whole life wow. it's like we are not our thoughts we are the silent watcher the observer behind our thoughts why oh are my we god not you thought- are really spiritual why, <laughs> why did we not te- uh, this is what i mentioned in our the cc oh class god. thing that i did as well i think I've, and why were we not taught this at school and uh, this, this is this needs to be i mean it's, it's getting better with the growth mindset and mindfulness in schools but we need to get taught this at schools i'm yeah. really passionate about this and get this into colleges and yeah. you know this you know this is so interesting because like from a person who's a coach spreading a wide message um to thousands of people out there to for us even internally to not know that hey there's all this behind it this spiritual side yeah is like have you not started to notice i mean even when i was watching like some grand cardone recently yeah, that's what uh, we're talking about god and talking about yep. all this stuff and um recently some like boxing fights there was like tyson fury and all these people i don't know if you watched the, yeah, watched the yeah. fight yeah it was <laughs> big <epic>. massive <laughs> Man, that was epic uh, anyway um uh, like even also thanking god and every like actually even though people don't openly talk about these things or it's not their main message but you find that actually whenever when you go deep into every like billionaire millionaire there's something deeper in there isn't it yeah yeah um i did i did, I did a lot of woo-woo stuff to try to heal myself yeah. so um i did something called ancestral healing which was healing the karma of my ancestors oh wow um so, so what got was i mean what type of mindset got you into that then because like were you skeptical about it? Did you believe it straight away or what was that? Yeah, I went there like in 2012 and they were like telling me about this. Yeah, we need to heal your ancestors. And I was like, yeah, I don't believe in this stuff. I, I, I work in the city. <laughs> what? I work in the city. It's all about money, money, I'm money. I'm a Londoner. <laughs> it's um, like, you need to heal your ancestors. <laughs> I'm the one that's sick, man. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> um, but gradually, uh, I just was meditating every day, becoming more in, ter- in terms of mindfulness and search i guess i started i was on this searching journey of um i knew there was more to life i knew there was a connection um i i believe in god um but i didn't have as strong a connection so i started searching for all these kind of ways of healing myself because on in on the nhs there wasn't a uh, way of healing what i had which is something called something called me or chronic fatigue syndrome so i tried all these different things Did the NA- nhs uh, give you ancestral healing <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? I've got a prescription for you. Here you go. Ancestral <laughs> Work it out. <laughs> wow. There you go. Um, so no, it's a South Korean practice and you do it um, in, in the Oxford Circus. So, just near so the did tube. it work for you? It worked. I felt a connection with my ancestors and, and I, wow. uh, three weeks later, I was completely healed. 
Wow. Um, just like that. I healed, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a bit, bit woo woo, but um, yeah, it was wow. incredible. Um, I, could, I, I felt my ancestors in, in the ceremony with me. Wow. Um, it was just, yeah, the most surreal and most spiritual, and so incredible. That's, and connection. that's what made you decide to be a business coach. <laughs> <laughs> Not an ancestral all healer. And after all of that, I'll teach you marketing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you click funnels, I'll teach you landing pages. Wow. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I think we all. I always believe that every problem, difficulty, and adversity is there to help us connect back to our soul, connect back to our That's spirit, beautiful. slow down. Well, I think did, it's like did, it's like Harpy Church and the Creator Circle Plus. Yeah. If that didn't happen to you, you wouldn't be probably doing the work that you're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, would be here, be smashing it with you guys. Did you, yeah. did you ever feel? Did you ever feel suicidal? Um, was there ever that moment during that seven and a half years? No, but when but i after was healing <laughs> <laughs> now right now get me off <laughs> no, when i was about 16 i remember being on a park bench and i was just like uh, i don't fit in i just didn't fit, fit in in society i just like right. I, I wasn't like, I'm i had no friends i'm in the end i went to yeah so i i felt then that i was just like i just wanted to end it then there's just too much mental emotional pain at that point but um oh, and what stopped you the thought of ending it <laughs> It's always like that, isn't it? It's like, nah. Too scared to. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. But He's I also like, don't want to die. <laughs> like I don't wanna I don't wanna heal my ancestors back there. Yeah. I wanna do it and, here. You know, my parents want me to be a doctor and a carrot, and so I I, I I can't just 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 yeah, so yeah, I have to, yeah, so uh, wow. yeah. I but to, so to, to anybody who's going I mean, there's a lot of people going through this stuff and we get thousands of emails every single day. People going through depression, people feeling suicidal, people, yeah, people feeling a lot ill. Of people. Like, what type of advice would you give to someone like that? I mean, when they feel like everything's going wrong, they don't feel fit, they've got no energy. Like, what would <coughs> advice would you go, uh, give them? Um, gosh, uh, how long have you got? <laughs> um, Join your seven week program. <laughs> there's, there's, what I what I what I love is that there's actually you, you know I love this, this stuff. I love the science of happiness stuff, the positive psychology that we can actually neuroscientists it's getting a bit technical for you guys but i'm bringing it i'm bringing it i'm bringing it the neuroscientists are putting people through mri scanners and we can actually reprogram our brain for more happiness and yeah. more i i i don't believe in depression that much like can you repeat that again you you lost him at neuro, <laughs> yeah, neuro. <laughs> neuro i'm still working out what that is you're like googling it <laughs> on the side no you what have to it? he has to spell it out to google yeah, it yeah, yeah. No, I, that would have been another question um, no, uh, 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 <laughs> i can't do that spell either phonetically no i need you to type it in for me um but no we can actually change our brain through these proven ways of um the science of happiness tool just every day write down three yeah. things that have gone well in your day it starts to reprogram your brain so for like happiness. Gratitude, gratitude yeah. focus on the positive things. Mm. Um, hey, I, I, got, I actually got a question for you on that one because, like, you know, like being coaches, like going out there saying, hey, okay, I can coach people. Okay, I'll tell you what to do. The steps are write a gratitude diary. Right? For everybody else who's like, I'm, I'm just thinking from the skeptical mindset, it's like, why do I need a coach to tell me to write a gratitude diary? <laughs> I get it. I'll write a gratitude diary. Like, what, what do you teach in... Like to your coaching clients, what do you teach? Like, what what tools do you give? That's like not just hey, I just write like, one yeah. paper for you. Know? Um, so my twelve step program, it's split up into four areas. Uh, it's, we look at positive psychology, NLP. We do um, um, yeah, we go in. We we find one of the biggest things I think that people are lacking is meaning or purpose. People are just on the tube especially in london if you see them they're just so unhappy just like knackered tired. yeah i've just come from just... london and oh my god i, I was one of them <laughs> 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 that's only because i didn't have any sleep but oh god i was looking around and everyone was miserable right they just got the paper just like this they're the hamster and it's hamster yeah, you know, people don't like to see me some people sleeping on the yeah, yeah playing these tired. games like yeah. um but uh, one thing that I help them with is find more purpose and more meaning in every single moment of life. And if we can have purpose and meaning in, in life, I think that there's a big connection of happiness there. Yeah. Um, finding your big purpose, finding your life calling, finding your legacy. Okay. Um, but just I, meaning. I got, got in, a question for you. Yeah. What's the purpose in life? Ooh, uh, Dalai Lama says it's happiness. Oh, well, what do you say? What is <laughs> what's, uh, what's saying? <laughs> after meeting your grandmaster, actually, he says it's bliss. Grandmaster actually okay. says it's bliss. Okay, Alia, what's what's the purpose in life? <laughs> well, I always say happiness as well. To what's be purpose happy. in life? Oh, mine is laughing. Like, honestly. <laughs> 
joy. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, joy, like always like this type of vibration all the time. Seriously, if everybody can get themselves together. So if we together, could run like a 24 hour podcast show. <laughs> yeah. Be on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, seriously though, it is like you know, everything, this is where everything stems from. That's what I believe, you know. Everything that you attract into your life comes from the vibrational point of attraction which you're holding right now. So if you're happy and you're like, you know, living in the moment right now, more good things are going to keep showing up to you. But a lot of people, whenever Master shares with people live in the now, they think they're living in the now, but they're really not because they're still doing all that other stuff that's going on like a big cloud bubble inside their head and it's having a, a knock-on effect. And a lot of people aren't up for taking responsibility for that. It's like we shared last time in the podcast, people it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, attracted, I attracted this good thing. But whenever the shit comes up, they're like, I didn't want that. <laughs> it's like, this no, coming no. To me? It's, it's like, you it works both ways. Yeah. <laughs> works both ways, right? Okay, so moving on from that, thank you so much for all of your input so far. We also like to, on this show, acknowledge some of our epic creators. And I just like to ask everybody just to give someone a shout out that they think has been doing an epic job or they're Gabor. really. Gabor. <laughs> <laughs> Gabor, seriously, you're going to be on this show every <laughs> week, right? Every every week, well, Gabor, you you must have seen Gabor. Oh, stuff, right? he's tagging me and things left, right, center. <laughs> <laughs> like, voice well, mails, voice yeah. messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man and I were sitting at home the other day, and we we just had like me a dinner or something out there. And then next thing, man goes to me, Bo, your phone's ringing. And then it was Gabor calling. And then I, obviously, I was eating and stuff. So I never hey, got, I got it. I got an announcement. What's that? You know, Bell Bella Yasu. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. my story clearly wasn't good enough. Anyway, yes. <laughs> uh, Bella's mum, Rachel, yeah. right, channeled something through her and sent it over to me this morning. And right now, I can't tell you what it is. What? What? It took a lot of hurt. <laughs> Very much suspense. Really? But it's extremely powerful. Really? Yeah. Well, when, when can you share? Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a new pranam. It's a new um, bow to respect the energies, right? For I am creator. Oh, Channeled and it was recorded. Sent me the video. It's so, so powerful. So why can't we hear what it is? Because the permission is not granted oh. yet. To share. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But it might be on the show. So you might see it flashing now. If oh. you don't, then it's not permitted yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. That's wow. exciting. Yeah. So um, I just want to say this, this is a very powerful energy that's behind all of the work we're doing right now. And a lot of people will be, a lot of creators in the community will get all these different ideas in terms of how to push the message of positivity, love and consciousness further. So that's kind of just like to acknowledge uh, Rachel, if you're watching this, uh, Bella, if you're watching this, all these people who are, I mean, even Bella's video from last yeah, time right, was, was amazing. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, that's my acknowledgement. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think Ali, you had some people. That I you... gave, I, I did give Ruth an acknowledgement, but yeah. um, back on the whole manifestation, I just love watching people's manifestations. Yeah, it yeah, just yeah, makes yeah. me so happy and Do you excited. like manifesting as well? I love just watching other people manifest. We've been manifesting. We've been yeah, manifesting. Yeah, we've been manifesting like crazy. Like you're not on yeah. our level, right? Nice. You know, yeah. like, but it's been crazy. Yeah. So, and, and it, it's nice. Crazy? No, seriously, it's so I'm going to manifest to see Lim tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn it. My manifestation came true. <laughs> yeah, well, I manifested a subway today. <laughs> nice. Really? nice it's it's the small things in life yeah. do, you know, do you know what right okay actually you say you manifested a subway right what people don't understand that is manifestation it is I, I believe like, it <laughs> oh my god I'm serious I, I love it. this topic like <laughs> no, let's but, get going no but like I mean a uh, normal person would probably say okay so you asked Kaina to buy a subway right but that's manifestation it is but people say no, because people are thinking manifestation should be close eyes, visualize, subway. <laughs> then, oh, Where is it's it? here, you know? Yeah. No, it's when we talk about law of attraction. Yeah. I think it was you who taught that, wasn't That's it? actually Thanks. what happened law to me, though. Yeah. Uh, and the word action. attraction has the word action. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was like, like throughout my whole journey with Lim so far, that's the only thing I've learned from him. <laughs> yeah. And do you know what? Like when I shared that from stage, I can remember clearly when I shared that from stage, but this is before he knew me that I was like this, right? He was like, <laughs> he was like oh my God, that's really good. I'm going to use that. And I was like, credit me. 
Did Incredible. you drop, did you, did you drop the mic? Did you take what? it from someone else? No, no, I actually saw it. I was studying the word and then I seen it and I was like, oh my God, it actually says action in it. But then whenever I Googled it, it had been found before. Like, so it wasn't <laughs> like I found it without hearing it from somebody else, but it was already created by somebody else. Mm. So, hey, talk about taking it from somebody else. I think it needs to be addressed this topic that is in the personal development industry right now um, yeah. and in, addressed in a nice positive light. Yeah. The news that's gone on with a big influencer out there yeah in terms of taking content i mean what, what are your thoughts on that yeah i think personally as someone who creates content and who writes a lot as well um a lot of the writings and stuff that i do it'll come sometimes when i'm just sitting in the garden or when i'm just journaling and sometimes what once i realized was that actually something that i'd put up that i thought was my own was actually someone else's. It was an old quote that had already been done before. And obviously that wasn't my int my intention because I do all the writings myself. <coughs> but then realizing that is just that there's... It all comes from one place. It all comes from one source. Can you explain that to people who are not so conscious about what you're talking about all comes from well all all ideas come come from one place there's a reason why so many people have the same ideas there's a reason why so many people think the same things dream the same things everything comes from one place all it's those like ideas all the it's like one library. exactly exactly yeah. it's one giant library and every everyone gets little snippets from that library yeah if it, it's different if you go out and say oh, I like what this person is written, I'm going to take it and not credit the, that yeah. person. Yeah. But when you when you just hear something, like you, you can't possibly, your brain is not a computer where you're constantly saying, okay, this person said this quote and I read this from this journal. You're not going to have like a citation library inside your head. So if you do come up with something, if you heard something like five years ago, three years ago, even two months ago, and you don't remember that it's from that person mm -hmm. because sometimes you think, oh, wow, I'm, I'm really a genius. That was me, yeah. <laughs> you know? I think I think what, like, a lot of people, whenever this conversation came up, had asked me, what's my opinion? What's my thought on it? Like, you know, why haven't you made a social media post about it? A lot of people got very reactive to it. But I think it depends where you are as an individual as to how you would take situations like that. D depend on the level of consciousness. Like, there's people that say, yeah, but you got to appreciate that you need to credit someone for that. And then people say, but it's helping people right and the way i look at it is i'm saying to myself what would i do if i was in that situation if i said something of value if you were in a situation where you had 16 million following <laughs> no 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 no, no, no. i'm sa no 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 not that i'm saying if i was in a situation whereby like from a different perspective here where if i said something that was valuable that people found like and nice someone to use, took it and used it that would be good no, 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 and someone took it and used it. And say for, if, say, for example, it was mine, it doesn't happen very often that I put out anything <laughs> valuable, right? But if I say something that came from me, and say, for example, Ali went and took it and used it, and she put her name to it, at the end of the day, I would look at that only from where I am as a perspective and say, if she's using it for good and it's helping people, cool, awesome, right? I get it. Credit people, but be nice. But majority like, of people don't think like that's you. what I'm saying. But mm -hmm. that's why I said so it a depends. So a lot of the creators, a lot of the people don't think like you. Yeah. That's the thing. I that's mean, it's I the said. same thing with, with with me. I would say even a lot of our students. Yeah. They say, "Oh, can I can I use this line that you had? Or can I use it?" I say, I always say to all my students, I say, any YouTube title I do, any information I do, anything I do, take it all. Take it and do whatever you want with it, okay? As long as it's spreading the message of positivity. I say just take it and use it. Use it all, you know? Because, but not everybody's like that. So do you think that there needs to be any respect for the people who are those content creators? Or do you think we should just assume that everybody should be okay with it? That it goes out I like see, that? this is the thing. You're a content creator that has literally just said here to thousands of people take all my content but this is what, what i'm saying this is one content creator yeah, I think that's, it's, that's it's, it's obviously the people who are offended that are that are putting i know those negative messages what i was saying there. before that was that it depends where each person is in an individual as to how they will take it that's just my perspective and i can't i don't believe i can yeah speak but on putting in, of in the people. other person's perspective as well looking at from like a creative point of view yeah. when you go through a lot of effort to create something when it actually is your idea and you 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 go, especially when there's things like designing process and videos and all that kind of stuff. If you put that much effort into it and say you're not as well known and you're working to to get somewhere and some, someone that is really well known and much higher than you sees it and just takes it, that takes the idea without crediting you, 
obviously that can be hurtful because they're just they're they're stealing your information <laughs> but but listen you know you know this whole thing i think will go around in a lot of circles because, <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> yeah. because at the end of the day i think we as a as a circle here i think from what i hear from it, or what what people are sharing is that we are on the conscious level to not really be bothered about it mm. because we know all information is a collective consciousness everyone channels it everything's towards good nothing's yours anyway we come into this world with nothing we don't you know, when other people win we don't lose you know yeah, all yeah, this yeah. type of thing so we're on that conscious level of, of that so i don't think anything is affected that's it i think the key but word speaking, would be but, detachment but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but at the same time speak this is the thing if we were to dare say do you have the courage to say there's nothing wrong with it it was absolutely fine do you have the courage to say that is another question right because you having the courage to say that you know that there's going to be a load of comments. It's because I most know. people are not at that I conscious know. level. You're reading my mind right now. You're saying all the things that I'm saying right now. You're saying it in a very safe way. Yeah. But what I'm reading from you is your bold statement. Do you dare stay say it? My bold statement? Yeah. No. Well, listen. Let me, let me <laughs> yeah. tell you something. What I wanted to conclude on, right, is a lot of people out there Does it matter, who have yes got no? comments about this. Was right? it wrong or was it right? Listen, there's no, there's no such thing as wrong or right or true or false or any of that BS. You know, listen. But what I am saying is that a lot of people practice, go out there, choose the path of least resistance, always come from love and all. In this situation, that's how I would choose to come. And those people who say that they choose the path of least resistance, in this situation, you're not choosing the path of least resistance. You're choosing the path of resistance. And I'm sorry, you're going to attract more of that stuff into your life. So just be cool, be kind, be nice, smile, be happy. That's let me, it. Let me, let me tell you my thoughts. What Have you got any thoughts on it? Um... I, I'm, Just be I'm, happy. A, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a creator. The thing is, I'm a creator as well. And when I'm talking in my Facebook Live, my Happiness TVs, yeah. I'm just riffing and yeah. it just, it's, it's almost like it's coming yeah, you, from... You riff all my lines. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just master the form and flow with the master form. Master the form and flow with the form. So it, it, does, it all comes from the universal mind, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> this guy's mind. Well, if he says he channels, then if I take his, I must be still from... <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'm it's, a, it's a channel downward flow. He's underneath you. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I conclude. Think just we can conclude. We to can say, conclude. Well, personally, nice. I don't know if you guys agree with this, <laughs> oh, sure. but I know that you guys agree with it. Yeah, is that he's amazing. Yeah. What what he's created is amazing. Are there certain things or certain actions that can be done slightly differently to respect the normal mindset? Yes, there is. Right? Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, there? of course. Right. Yeah. Not say to respect the conscious, more conscious mindset. I'm saying, is there things that, that can be done to respect the, the normal mindset? Because if you know your work is reaching out to millions of people, then we need to respect the normal mindset. Yeah. Meaning that we need to do certain actions yeah. to respect that. Yeah. So I think those will be improved. But, you know, I don't, I, like, yeah, it, it, it takes, and, and, I, and I think this is a very big thing as well. I don't see it in a negative way. I see it in a very positive way. Mm. I think things will only get better. Yeah, from for, for, for for that individual and for everybody else, all content creators, we become more aware. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. I mean, even me as a content creator, now I'm more aware of, hey, wait there, where is this coming from? Do you get what I'm saying? So actually, it's that in, uh, incident in itself has helped a lot of people, I think. So it's, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's my thoughts. I think that's a good place to finish on this, start with. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on from that, some person that we really need to acknowledge here right now is this absolute rock star. We acknowledged him on the last call, but my gosh, he just keeps showing up on our news feeds yeah. all the time. Shall we over show the dance over. again? <laughs> <laughs> the dance. We're sorry, bro. We already showed it once, right? But this guy, Samuel Chung, look at this. He says, I manifested my goal of buying a new home and moving in in November. The universe will always work in ways that you can never expect to so just be open. Hi, my name is Sam. He's an FLT grad and a GIC member. Also this week as well, he actually made his first $1,000 with his Shopify store as well. And that was a huge, wow. Yeah, drop shipping. Uh, that was his first huge success. Congratulations. Within, Amazing. So, literally within a matter of weeks. But... This guy, I think he was at the beginning, he was saying to you that he, he didn't want to go on videos and stuff. When and all he first came on onto yeah. our, the FLC program, he was like, I can't do videos. <laughs> I said, what do you mean you can't do it? No, 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 it's not for me. Like my, my work people on there, everyone's on there. No, yeah. I, 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 I can't speak on video. 
And then now he's like videos all the time. Every day. Every he's day. singing. He's yeah. dancing. Yeah. He's I want to see the singing and dancing. Yeah, That's yeah, what I want to yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's so much content in the Creator Circle group that we can't even keep up with all of it every single day. I think we're proven is it like 200 plus posts per day, yeah, maybe we, even more. We've had to create a whole different community of people to manage I know. the circle. I know. But yeah. the content that's coming in there is that's what the that's what the creators was talking about before the call opened up on Sunday was the amount of positivity and love that's on their Facebook. Like, you know I, I think all all the all these people seeing all these manifestations, you can't say law of attraction is not real, you can't say manifestation isn't real. And if you still do, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you still do, then okay. You will always be skeptical. You will always be skeptical. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. So uh okay guys, I think we've been on here for quite some yeah. time, right? Uh oh, is, that, is that how you do the show now? Well, <laughs> I think we've been no, here I quite think, some time. I so honestly don't even know what time we started. <laughs> but do we have time to play the game? No? Go for it. What's do the we game? have time to play the game? Right. Okay. Oh, so we're playing that game free. again. Free. Free. Oh. We've introduced this thing onto our show, right? Maybe you can help us with this, right? We didn't really get much clarity on the We the did. Lunch. You say one word each. No, but that was horrible. It, it went horrendous. Amazing. No, it was just because Josh wasn't very good. Now we have Harpreet. <laughs> right. <Flo. laughs> so this is about one minute, 44 seconds, right? One minute, 44 seconds have to come so. up with a kick-ass quote. A kick-ass quote. One word at a time. One word at a time, right? But you can't say a word that you can't finish the sentence. Feet. So, 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 <laughs> that's for Josh, right? So if you say a word, and then we can challenge and say, no, there's not a sentence at that. And then you have to say the sentence. Right. If you do, then... That's okay. fine. But yeah. do you know something? I've never understood the purpose of this because my happens. Just, I think it's just, that, that, it's that just, was just something that was on set. But anyway, <laughs> it's one minute 44. I'm thinking of inventing a new game because I don't like this other okay, game. Can we test it one time? I really feel it will work. Okay. So it's going to be one minute 40. Who's starting? You. you. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Okay. Is that uh, the first word? No. Uh, <laughs> you ready, Harpy? Ready? Yeah. I'm giving you a heads up. You ready? Well, I'm not really giving you a heads up because you haven't got my word. Okay. You ready? Okay. okay, can you ready? hurry up because we're running out of memory on the memory card. Are you ready? Oh, shit. Okay, sorry, memory card. Right, you ready? Okay, time. Doesn't. Always. Exist. In. The. Present. <laughs> if. You. Can. Not. No, I challenge you. <laughs> Come on. Time cannot exist in the present if not... If, if if you not if you not if you not <laughs> what English wait, is that? So wait, what's the purpose of this? I don't know. <laughs> time time it's a does not exist. Yeah. Okay, what was it? Time does not exist in the present. If you cannot. If you can. Mine was not right. Yeah. Okay. If you can. Dimensional. Dim. Dream. If you can dream. <laughs> wow. Okay. So all creators listening to the show, I hope you're inspired by the. <laughs> Oh. Make sure to write that. Okay, next game, please. It, just, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So, Harpreet, do you have any sort of a game? That... Um, oh, my games just... are harder. What one of the games that I do in uh, improvisational comedy is that we all speak at the same time and we try to create our own word and sentence. Oh, uh, that's all, good. I have my own language. So, what wow. would the person who's <laughs> listening to the podcast feel like at that time? Take your headphones <laughs> out if you're listening on headphones <laughs> right now. <laughs> um. Yeah, like we all just kind of have a group mind and we kind of say a, a phrase or a word together, a, a sentence together, like very slowly. So obviously one person mean? will lead and you have to try and pretend, like you're trying to have to listen into what I'm saying and we all try and say the same sentence together. Really slow. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> this isn't going to be good for <laughs> the viewers at home, uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow. We play it. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it here. If anybody knows any 1 minute 44 second games that we can or use with games this. in general, we don't yeah. need to use No, actually... I want this featured. Do you know next time can we just order some food for the general. show? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we can go longer pizza! then. Pizza. Oh my gosh. Vegan yeah. pizza. Yeah, that would No be onion, good, no yeah. garlic, no mushroom. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> can you remember yeah. a man? Oh yeah. After so, I came back from so, the mountains, he, he goes to order a subway for me. What did he, he say? He walks into subway, so obviously master said no onion, no garlic, no mushroom man no walks meat. in no meat <laughs> no obviously egg. nothing right man walks in he goes hi uh, can i get a foot long uh whatever the bread was i can't even remember oat or something like that and then he's like yeah yeah what would you like on it he says no onion no egg no garlic <laughs> no mushroom he's like so what do you want on it <laughs> and then mom was like oh yeah can i have i was like what the heck do you know do you know when when i used to be cooking people used to come into chinese takeaway and say hey can i have um black bean chicken without the black beans please 
And I was like, so you That's want chicken? chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I want black bean chicken without the black beans. Oh, can yeah. you tell Can okay. you tell Dan's so story? The black bean, <laughs> the black bean oh my gosh, can you tell Dan's story? <laughs> Dan's story? Yeah, the, the egg thing. His omelette. <laughs> 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 Dan, we're having we're having breakfast so every day we'll be, be eating doza oh yeah and then and then um he would come it's on so, so he's got he's got he's got like his what is it uh no it wasn't it was omelet omelet yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll have omelet then uh, he'll have mushroom onion garlic everything inside then he arrives at the table then everybody's looking at him then grandmaster's looking at him and then he looks at us and he says oh Dan says, oh, no, no onion, no, oh, oh. And he goes to the waiter, he says, oh, can I have the same without onion, without garlic, without mushroom, please? And then Grandmaster is just looking at him and he says, no, 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 without egg. <laughs> and then he says, oh, I have egg. <laughs> that reminds me of the time we went to France before this, way back at the beginning, whenever I first started. And they, they get me to do the craziest things ever. And Master comes up to me and he's like, I was asking anybody, do you want a tea or a chocolate, a hot chocolate or anything there? And he goes, uh, Lim, 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 can you get me a hot chocolate, but can I have it without the chocolate? <laughs> so I ordered a hot chocolate without the chocolate, yeah, the chocolate yeah, trying, to, trying to explain so to a French person. Uh, I well, I didn't know. I was, like, the chocolate, I was like, can I, get, uh, <laughs> can I get an English breakfast, a green tea and Earl Grey? Can I get a hot chocolate just without the chocolate? And they were like, uh, what? In their French <laughs> accent. And I was like hot chocolate without the chocolate and then I look over and there's like a bunch of them all laughing at me and someone else like okay yeah you got me again guys. anyway creators <laughs> anyway creators okay so I think we're gonna have to finish up there for time we gotta go do some yoga now and stuff like that there very excited anyway creators if you enjoyed this uh, series today with uh, Master we've got Ali and we've got Harpreet thanks so much for coming in to join us here today it's been awesome to have also, you also make sure you guys if you are not already make sure to follow Harpreet uh, GIC member he will inspire you got a lot of inspiring messages goes live all the time talking about happiness talk about business talk about everything that will take your life to the next level and you have a happiness tv channel happiness right? tv facebook lives oh, yeah. yeah check me out on facebook instagram yeah. and uh if you want to be inspired then yeah just follow me yeah. yeah we'll link all social medias below you can find it go do it right now take action can you say right all now. that in an indian accent <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should have that alter ego like you have in your youtube yeah, 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 you, yeah. you have magic mic i have yeah. my, my indian bro no, not magic mic <laughs> I don't have no, magic. magic mic. I don't have magic mic. <laughs> magic. Can you imagine if it was magic mic? I don't have magic mic yet. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the X-rated version. It's, it's it's miserable mic. Yeah, yeah. No magic mic. Post on my channel. This, is, this is what's happening in his subconscious. Yeah, I know what's going on up there. Yeah. Whenever he looks at you, yeah. 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 he's like, magic. You're weird. Right. I mean, start... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's keep it PG for now. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to comment below. Let us know where you've tuned in from. Be sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere above or below. We're going to be on here bringing in different people. And for those of you who want to join live yoga with us every single week, there's a link in the description below, I believe, of this video. You can join us on the Creator Circle Plus every single week, live coaching with Master and with a lot of other individuals, influencers all around the world, sharing positivity, kindness, love, inspiration, manifestation, everything that you want to live a life of a high vibrational frequency. So for now, guys, we are out, we're signing out, and we will Namaste. see you all very soon. Namaste. Yeah.